Today we celebrate the Mass in honor of the Holy Child Jesus, or the Santo Nino. The devotion to Santo Nino is no exception to various religious piety expressed by the devotees who visit the Santo Nino Basilica in Cebu, the Philippines, annually to celebrate the Feast of the Holy Child Jesus. Given as a gift from Ferdinand Magellan to Reina Juana under baptism in 1521, the Santo Nino image was kept with her. This marked the beginning of the evangelization of the Philippines. Forty-four years later, the image was providentially found on April 28, 1565, surviving the destruction of the town during the bombardment of Cebu 
carried out by the second Spanish expedition. Since its finding, the image was entrusted to the care of the Augustinian Friars, or the Order of St. Augustine, up to the present, and likewise celebrate the feast day. The Augustinians built a chapel at the place where the image was found. Later on, the Augustinians built a church named San Augustine Church. The image remained miraculously unscathed during World War II bombing of the church where it was generated. It was elevated to a basilica now known as the Basilica Menor del Santo Nino de Cebu by Pope Paul VI. The image of the Santo Nino of Cebu is the oldest surviving Catholic relic in the Philippines. For a time, the Fiesta Senor is celebrated every April 28th, but later was transferred to the third Sunday of January by Pope Innocent XIII. Pit Senor is an acclamation by the devotees while dancing and saying out loud their prayer and petitions. This is heard during the entirety of the traditional religious simul that happens after the last Navina Mass of the day. On ordinary days in the Basilica, candle vendors in red and yellow are the ones doing the two steps forward, one step backward, or also known as Sinu. Associate Pastor Nicholas Simbahan of San Padre Pino. Kasama si Nat Padre Aloy, kung hila, Pastor Namin. Natin at si Dito Ray Tirawa. Tumawiyo ako tayo at magkikisa sa mga awit ng ating awit pangunit.
Espíritu Santo. Amen. Sumay niyo ang Panginoon. Mga kapatid, amin niya din ang ating mga kasalanan upang tayo maging marapat gumanap sa banal na pagdibig. Ikaw na nagaling sa mga kasalanan ng mundo. Panginoon, maawa ka sa
na tayo. Ama namin makapangyarihan, ang iyong anak na Diyos na totoo ay naging sanggol mo po. Siya ay naging tatao na magtoto. Maging amin niyawang panata ang pagsunog sa kanyang kapagkumbabahan sa pagdiriwang namin sa kanyang pakikisa sa mga nasa abang katayuan upang kami mapabilang sa iyong pinaghaharian sa pamamagitan niya kasama ng Spiritu Santo magkasawa ng hanggang. Pagbasa mula sa aklat ni Propeta Isaías Nakatanaw ng isang malaking liwanag ang bayang malaw ng nasa kadiliman na manaag na ang liwanag sa mga tao na mumuhay sa lupaing balot ng dilim. Iyong pinasigla ang kanilang pagdiriwang, dinagdagan mo ang kanilang tuwa. Tulad ng mga tao sa panahon ng anihan, tulad ng mga tao na gahati ng nasamsam na kayamanan. Nilupig mo ang mga bansang umalipin sa iyong bayan, tulad ng pagkalupig, pagkalupig sa hukbo ng maliyan. Binari mo ang panghambaros ng mga tagapagpahirap sa kanila. Sapagkat ang panyapak ng mga mandirigma, ang lahat ng kasuotang pigmak sa dugo ay susunugin. Sapagkat ipinanganak para sa atin ang isang sanggol na lalaki. Ibinigay ang isang anak sa atin at siya ang mamamahala sa atin. Siya ang pahangahangang tagapayo, ang makapagyari ng Diyos, walang hanggang ama, ang prinsipe ng kapayapaan. Malawak na kapangyarihan at walang hanggang kapayapaan ang ipagkakaloob sa trono ni David at sa kanyang paghahari. Upang matatag ito at papanatilihin sa katarungan at katuwiran, ngayon at magpakay naman. Isasagawa ito ng mga pangyarihang Panginoon. Ang salita ng Diyos. Sa pag-awit. 
iniwan nila ang kanilang lambat at sumunod sa kanya. Napatungi siya ng pagdalak at sa di kalayuan ay nakita niya ang magkapatid na Santiago at Juan, mga anak ni Zagadeo. Sila ay nasa kanilang pagka at nagkakayuma ng mga lambat. Tinawag din sila ni Jesus at sumunod naman sa kanya. Iniwan nila sa pagka ang kanilang ama kasama ng mga taong upahan. Ang mabuting balita ng Panginoon. According to Google, the most followed celebrities in 2023 are Kim Kardashian. Kilala niyo ba sila? Second or followed by Nicki Minaj, Taylor Swift, Lady Gaga, Rihanna. And then I also Google the most followed celebrities in the Philippines. Namumuna si Catherine Bernardo. Daniel Padilla. Alden Richards. Kim Chu. And surprisingly, even in the Philippines, the Korean pop stars or BTS is considered number one in the Philippines. But here in the United States, the most followed celebrity in the United States is Beyonce with 311 million followers. 311 million followers. I brought that up because in today's gospel, Jesus calls us to follow Him. And to follow Jesus, it means to enter into a deep relationship with Him. So please remember that. When Jesus said, come follow me, is asking us to enter into a deep, not shallow, but deep relationship with Him. My friends, when Jesus calls us to follow Him, He wants us to turn away from sin and repent. When Jesus calls us to follow Him, He wants us to detach ourselves from worldly things. Jesus calls us to detach from our addictions addictions of the flesh. When Jesus calls us to follow Him, He wants us to be His messenger of peace. When Jesus calls us to follow Him, He asks us to work in the vineyard of the Lord. When Jesus calls us to follow Him, He wants us to lead in prayer. When Jesus calls us to follow Him, He wants us to stop hurting others or inflicting violence on others. When Jesus calls us to follow Him, He wants us to follow the cross. And when you look at the cross, it simply tells us to embrace persecution, sufferings, and challenges in our lives. So in today's liturgy, it begs us to answer Jesus' invitation. So the question is, will you follow Him? 
Will you follow the invitation of the Lord? One might say, well, Lord, I will follow you at my own convenience. I will follow you as long as according to my time. Others will say this, but that's not exactly what Jesus is asking. The beauty of following the Lord is we will not see each other as a competition. When we follow the Lord, we do not see our neighbors as a threat or an enemy. When we follow the Lord, we no longer seek happiness in wrong places. When we follow Christ, we will find fullness in Him because He alone can satisfy our deepest longing, our deepest needs, and our insecurities. So again, the question is, Will you accept the invitation of the Lord? Or are you going to make some excuses? Are you going to say, Lord, sorry, I have to watch my Hela novella? Or I still have to do my social media and I don't have time for you? So today, my friends, we did not just come to bring our images here of San Domingo, but best to answer the question, will you follow the Lord, that path? My friends, when we reject God's invitation, we will fall in darkness. Can I say that again? When we reject his invitation, we will fall in darkness. If we reject God's invitation, we will remain restless and insecure, and we will remain in fear if we reject God's invitation. The truth is, it's not easy to follow the Lord, because He will demand us to deny ourselves, to deny our pride. It's not easy to follow Him because He will ask us to humble ourselves. He will ask us to be vulnerable. And we are very good in pushing people away because we don't want people to see us in a vulnerable state. That's why we push people away. We don't even want to see them, we just want to text them, and that's how we communicate. Because in fear, to show our vulnerability. It's not easy to follow the Lord because He will ask us to give the other cheek when they slap us or humiliate us, he asks us to give the other check. It's not easy to follow the Lord, but we must ask God's grace to give us so that we can follow Him and live in light. Let us ask the Holy Spirit to deepen our love for God let us ask our Blessed Mother to strengthen or increase our faith. It's not easy to follow the Lord, but let us encourage each other. Encourage each other and edify each other in prayer to follow the Lord. Let us worship together. Let us serve God together. Let us sing and praise and dance together. Let us follow the Lord because He alone can satisfy our deepest longing and He offers us 
salvation and redemption of life. So my friends, before you leave today, answer God's call. Will you follow Him? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Sumasampalataya po sa isang Diyos, amang mapapangyarihan sa lahat, na may gawa ng langit at lupa, ng lahat ng ating kita, di na ating kita. Sumasampalataya po sa isang Panginoon Jesus Cristo, buktong na lahat ng Diyos, sumilang sa mga bago paman at mga Para kay Clara at Montano Montilla Jr. 
Zafiro Camacho, Dana Rain Elegido, René Pagatpatan, Norberto at Irene Pagatpatan, at para sa lahat ng ating mga parokyan, manalangin tayo. Kahilig natin ipanalangin ang ating mga sariling kahilingan. Manalangin tayo. Panginoong Diyos, ang paluhan mo kami ng praktika na malasakit sa mga bata at kabataan ngayon. Naway may isulong namin ang kanilang kailangan at kaligtasan dahil sa pagmamahal sa iyong anak na nabubuhay at nagkakari. Maupatay lang ba? Amen. Siya ay sinubo mo para kami sa lipid palayay 
ਇਹ ਅੱਛਾ ਬਿਨਾਂ ਨੀਗਾ ਦਾ ਮਹਾ ਦਾ ਬਿਰ ਹੈ ਤੇਰੇ ਜਿੰਨ ਕਰਿਆ ਨਹੀਂ ਨੰਤ ਤੋ ਸਪੰਗ ਯਾ ਵੀ ਮਾਈ ਨਾ ਮੀ ਸਪਿਰਿਟ ਤੋ ਸਾਥ ਤੋ ਇਨਾ ਪੁਨਿਆਂ ਸੰਗੀ ਨੰ ਲੋ ਹੋ ਅਕੰਪੀ ਨੰ ਸੰਭਯੰ ਬਦਾ ਪਰਸ ਇਨਾ ਕੀ ਸੰਗਿਆ ਨੀ ਨੀ ਯੂ ਦਾ ਸਤਰੂਸ ਅੰਗਨਿਆਂ ਮਾ ਕਬਾਈ ਉਪਾ ਮਾ ਬੋਕਾ ਸਨ ਕਬਾ ਤਾਇਆ ਅਤਾ ਹਾਇਆ ਨੰ ਕੰਤਾ ਹੋ ਹੈ ਤੇ ਇਹ ਪੈਸਾ ਨੰ ਮਾ ਗੇਰ ਨੰ ਸਿਆ ਨੰ ਕੋ ਨੀ ਸਈ ਨੰ ਵਲਾ ਮੋ ਪਾਇ ਸਖਲਾ ਨੀ ਤਾ ਕਮੀ ਨੰ ਗੂ ਬੁਨੀ ਸਈ ਉਹ ਕਦਾ ਪੀਲਾ
Ito ang kordero ng Diyos. Ito ang nagalis ng kasalanan ng sanlibutan. Papalat ang mga inaayayahan sa kanyang kukinig.
kami kinabangan mo ng iyong tiging sa banal na kapistahan ng iyong anak na isinilang ng mahal na bibi ay makapamuhay na wabil ang iyong kasambahay na uulad sa karunungan at sa pagiging kalugod-lugod sa iyo at sa kapwa-kapwa sa pamamagitan ng si Kristo kasama ng Espiritu Santo magpasawala hanggang Amen! Prayer po to Santo Niño ay tatasabi natin ngayon. O Senyor Santo Niño, You are our King and our God. We worship You. You are a strong defender. We turn to You. You are the kingdom of the good and the good things. We come to You. You have made me a strong for the heavenly wonders. Through your miraculous image in these chosen islands, remember us. Look down at this poor soul that comes to you for help. Lead us with your wisdom. Discipline us with your truth. Console us with your tenderness. Protect us with your might. We consecrate today our thoughts to you. Only with you shall they be occupied. Our words, only of you shall they speak. Our sufferings, that we may endure them for your sake. We beg you, Senor San Domingo, illumine our understanding, kindle our will, cleanse our body, sanctify our soul. We wish what you wish, because you wish, as you wish, as long as you wish. Grant us, Senor San Domingo, that we may feel love toward you. Be strict toward ourselves, be zealous toward our fellow men, and rightly despise the things of the world. Help us to overcome sensuality with strict discipline, our maliciousness with generosity, anger with gentleness, and illness with zealous industry. Make us wise in counsel, courageous in danger, patient in adversity, humble in prosperity. Teach us, dear San Domingo, how worthless is the world, how sublime is heaven, how brief is time, how long is eternity. Grant us, now, we, that we may remember you, adore you, and serve you here on earth, that we may be happy with you forever and ever in heaven. Amen. Please be seated for our announcements. Konting uh, paalala po. Ang um, Pro-Life Committee po ay uh, merong uh, naiwang informasyon sa best of you about the day of prayer for legal protection for unborn children. And so please grab one of their uh, uh, flyer information uh, when you go to the best of you. Um, the students of the Religious Education Program are selling tickets for the Valentine, Valentine's Day party fundraiser. I don't think they're back there, but uh, if you are interested, please call the rectory. Everyone is invited to attend. Uh, food and drinks are included in the cost. And join us as we kick off Catholic Schools Week next Sunday, January 28th. We will start with our 9.30 a.m. Family Mass, followed by our St. Hilary FSA Pancake Breakfast, and of course, the Open House. This day will be open to prospective and current family. Uh, so, parents who are here, you're so very welcome. And so you can uh, find out more information about uh, good Catholic education. Many families and many of you might have received the annual Catholic appeal mailing from Cardinal Silvich. The annual Catholic appeal offers a wonderful opportunity to answer the call together at the table. You will be hearing more about the appeal in the coming weeks. Next weekend, we will begin collecting palms to be burned to use as ashes on Ash Wednesday. 
there would be a container in the vestibule or the doctor for them. And then also next week, there will be a second collection, not for Father Andre, but for the church in Latin America. <clears throat> Thank you in advance for your generosity. And uh, after uh, the final blessing for Father Andre, you may sit down to watch our uh, Sinulog dancers. And then after the procession out, there are some refreshments some light refreshments for everyone um, in the cafeteria. In the cafeteria. On behalf of uh, Father Aloy, our pastor, thank you for being here. And we know that many of you are not from St. Padre Pio, but we'd like to invite you to attend our Sunday Tagalog Mass every Sunday, 5 o'clock. And uh, actually, we call it Tagalog, but we've noticed that we have some other ethnic communities joining us. If you notice, our families have been in English, para maging inclusive for non-Filipinos or non-Tagalogs. So you're most welcome to uh, attend our Misa Tagalog every Sunday at 5 p.m. And maraming salamat po. Thank you to our leaders, of uh, Santorini Group. Let's give them a big hand. <laughs> and now we are the dance to our Santorini. Nalito po ako sa second collection ni Fa, hindi ko ni. Binibiro lang kayo, baka totoo hindi ko niya. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Tapos ang misa, umayo kayo sa kapayapaan.
Kapalit. 